turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Oh help! Oh no! It's a Gruffalo! My favourite food, the Gruffalo said. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. said, I hear a hiss in the leaves ahead. I'm the wolf, Alexander T. Wolf. You can call me Al. I don't know how this old big bad wolf thing got started, but it's all wrong. Maybe it's because of our diet. Hey, it's not my fault wolves eat cute little animals like bunnies and sheep and pigs. That's just the way we are. If cheeseburgers were cute, folks would probably think you were big and bad too. Way back in Once Upon a Time Time, I was making a birthday cake for my dear old granny. I had a terrible sneezing cold and I ran out of sugar. So I went next door to ask if I could borrow a cup of sugar. Now the guy next door was a pig and he wasn't too bright either. He had built his whole house out of straw. Can you believe it? I mean, who in his right mind would build a house of straw? <laughs> was one of those very hairy faced men. The whole of his face, except for his forehead, his eyes and his nose was covered with thick hair. The stuff even sprouted in revolting tufts out of his nostrils and ear holes. Mr. Twip felt that this hairiness made him look terrifically wise and grand, but in truth, he was neither of these things. Mr. Twit was a twit. He was born a twit and now at the age of 60, he was a bigger twit than ever. The hair on Mr. Twit's face didn't grow smooth and matted as it does for most hairy faced men. It grew in spikes that stuck out straight like the bristles of a nail brush. And how often did Mr. Twit wash this bristly nail brushy face of his? The answer is never, not even on Sundays. He hadn't washed it for years 